This photo right here is some motherfuckers attempt to scam me on some X-Men comics. I'm gonna share with you guys the one thing I asked them to do that proved to me that they were a scam. And I'm gonna share with you five telltale signs you're in a comic scam. What is up guys? Welcome to the Paper Chase channel. This is five signs that you are being scammed online buying comic books. Also comes with a fun little story of me almost getting scammed but I didn't. You'll figure out why I didn't in a second. But first, if you like comic book content and content that can help you improve how you do this hobby, hit the like button down below, consider subscribing. Now let's get into the video. So as always, I am on Facebook Marketplace. And you know, if you think about it, what are we trying to do? We're scouring Facebook, we're scouring eBay, and we're trying to look for the steal of a deal. But when doing this, you got to be super careful because there are people out there that are literally trying to steal money from you. One time I've actually succumbed to it and lost, uh, I think $250. That video is on the channel and uh, I will go over why I failed to spot this scam. We'll get into that later. So I was scouring the internet, looking for comic deals, comic collections, stuff like that. All of a sudden on Facebook Marketplace, somebody lists that they have a short box of X-Men comics. Only I think they had one photo. The photo that they have was just of a couple of X-Men books. And this is a sign of somebody who is kind of in the advanced areas of scamming. They're not putting all their cards out on the table. This is the bait game in the scam process. And of course, what are we going to do? I messaged them and I said, hey, can you send me some more photos? And so they proceeded to show me this photo right here. This looks great, right? This is what we all hope for. This is what we're all looking forward to stumble across. Now, this is one thing that scammers do in order to solidify their integrity as a salesperson. Just because I asked for more photos uh, and the photos that I now received are the ones that are like, boom, you looking for this? this is the deal of a lifetime. Uh, that does not mean it's not a scam. It's just somebody who knows how to hook you. So I see this photo. Now, what do I do to ensure that this is not a scam? I said, hey, can you grab the X-Men 125 for me? If you can just send me a photo of that X-Men 125 with a thumbs up next to that book, then I'll feel more secure about the transaction. I'm just trying not to get scammed here. So what did this person do? They waited actually a good bit to get back to me, probably because they were trying to scour the internet or create AI generated photos of this comic book with somebody holding the thumbs up. But the hard part is AI can't do hands well. So eventually, I think it was like 12 hours later or something like that, I get a message back from them like, hey, do you still want the books? I said, of course, I still want the books, but I need the photo. So the scammer message back, he's like, I got a baby in my arms and the phone in the other. Uh, but let me see if grandpa can get the photo for you. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh, Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be so funny. What do they got? And this is the photo they sent. Boom, you looking for this? I just replied, LOL, nice try. Have fun trying to steal from people. So they obviously went to the internet. They clipped uh, either a live version or some, some photo that they found online of some guy holding up an X-Men 125 and his thumb was propped up in a position enough to where you could say his thumbs up. It, it was a funny attempt and it was humorous at the least. But actually when I compared the covers of the first photo that they sent me to the photo of the person holding the book, they were actually two different books because, uh, well, you can see the front covers are the same and they're not cut the same. So that is how I avoided that one. So now let's get into five signs you're being scammed. Number one, we'll start with some of the obvious stuff. Brand new profile. This literally means that the person, if they're on Instagram or Facebook or even eBay, a very well protected site, uh, has a brand new profile. So a profile that doesn't have a lot of reviews to back it up. A Facebook profile of somebody selling that they don't have a lot of friends. Uh, or another one, if they do have a lot of friends, but all their friends are, let's say, all boys or all girls. Fake profiles are actually something that you want to look out for too. Some of these profiles might be blocked completely. So you might not even be able to tell, but if the profile looks new, fresh or faulty, don't buy from them. Two is if the post uh, of the books that you're about to buy 
uh, have grainy photos. And there's actually a couple of posts right now on Facebook Marketplace for some comic books that I know for a fact are a scam. One reason is because the photos are super grainy. It's like they took a screenshot of another post and is trying to pawn it off. But another thing to kind of go in further with the grainy photos, let's say the photos look okay and clear, but all the photos look like they're taking in a different place. Real people that get comic collections or want to sell their comics are typically going to be in one single room. They're going to have a similar background, a similar hardwood floor or tile work or a blanket. It's just going to keep on coming up in the background and that's going to just show consistency that the person actually has the book. So if the photos look grainy, if all the photos look different, uh, or if you have any weird feelings about the photos that you're seeing, don't buy. Number three is hard to follow because this is kind of what we're looking for when we're scouring eBay for these incredible deals. This is what we want to find, but you have to find the line of, is it too good to be true? Let's say somebody has in a, in a crazy book and the photo looks really good of a Batman one and they're asking $150. Probably not a real book. It's probably one, a reprint, a facsimile, a fake, or the person is just not going to send you anything at all. Now, this is a rule that I had a hard time to obey, uh, and I actually just flat out ignored it whenever I got scammed in this video here. There was a set of books that this person was selling. Now, their profile looked great. You can tell they spent a long time kind of curating and making their profile look real. I don't remember all the details. Go back and watch this. I'll put a link at the end. But I know that the deal was a crazy good deal. It wasn't like stupid $10 for this. I think it was a Conan one that was in this and a couple of other books, but it was something that where a book should have been maybe $800 and they wanted $150, I think is something like what it was. Guys who live in 2024, everybody can look up comic books and their values on their phone. Nobody's gonna throw away a $1,000, $20,000, $50,000 book just because they don't feel like looking it up online. If it's too good to be true, just stay away. Number four is they won't accept a buyer protective form of payment. So for instance, like PayPal goods and services, if you go friends and family, there is no PayPal guarantee that PayPal is going to reimburse you for your money if you don't get the goods or services for your money. If they are a type of payment and will only accept the type of payment where you cannot get your money back, it's a sure tail sign that you're being scammed. Never buy from somebody who does not do that. Number five telltale sign you are in a comic scam is if they can't give you any new photos. This is something that it's good practice to ask for, even if you're not really even suspect of a scam. You know, if you're looking at a book, you know, sometimes if the person doesn't typically sell comics, they're not gonna take photos that a lot of collectors might deem uh, thorough enough for us to make an informed decision. So just to be on the certain side, ask them, hey, can you get a closer photo of that back cover for me? Can you get the lower left corner? Try to get specific if you're gonna ask somebody for photos. This lets you know that they actually have the book in hand. Not to beat a dead horse, but going back to the time I got scammed, they actually had the books. I asked him for specific photos. Uh, they were actually able to deliver everything. So at least I knew, I was like, hey, you know what? I said, I know for a fact that these people have the books because they're giving me all the photos and information that I needed. But the second somebody says, sorry, I can't get to it, or uh, I can't find it right now, or I'm too busy, you know, you might want to jump on this before somebody else does, just abandon ship. So that's five signs that you are in a comic scam. Guys, do your best to try to spread the information of this video and let us know in the comments below what you think are some other telltale signs. This stuff is not good for the hobby. Nobody likes it. New collectors will soon get out of the hobby. Um, I know there's some more and there's different ways that you can get scammed. Maybe that could be done in another video. But um, as for right now, I think those are some good basic steps to keep in mind when you're buying comic books online. If you like this video, hit the button at the bottom of the screen and we'll see you on the next page.